Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and I'm back with the SharePoint tutorial and in this section I'm going to talk about how we can customize our SharePoint list using JS link. So in this section our requirement is that I have created a SharePoint list here. So this is my default SharePoint list. How we create it? I have created two columns. One is title, one is description. So this is our default look of a SharePoint list. But what I want that I want to customize this one and I want to make this list as according so that by default our title column should be shown up there and when i collapse that title column my description will be shown up there so it will be goes for all the title and descriptions data whatever we are putting up there so how we can do that is by using our js link code so this is our by default js link code and uh, i'll tell you that how it's actually work i have provided a reference of my jquery there after that i've created a variable there and after that there is a code in templates that is actually targeting our SharePoint list template and there we have created a header and footer to target a header and footer we have put a div there and inside that put a code in class so what it's actually doing is it's targeting our entire page so that inside that we can perform our function and after that it's targeting our entire row a particular row that's where we have to create a functionality and after that it's targeting a particular item level and after that it's calling a sp client template a template manager to actually override our according context variable what we have created there <clears throat> and after that there is a function according template and inside that we are calling our title and description column so this is my title and description column you can put the name of your title and description column there and make sure whenever you are creating a multi-line text it should be a simple is its type should be simple it should not be a rich text type so uh, just keep in mind that and uh, it's returning our title and data variable that is this title and data variable we have created here because we are storing the value in title and data variable and after that there is a according on post render function <coughs> that is <coughs> actually creating according of our list so how it's actually working we have put our title and title section in h2 so there is a coding class h2 and on that click it's creating a toggle there slight toggle there and creating a slight toggle for their next value so next value that means our p tag so that we have put it inside a data section so how it's actually work on and there is a according h2.css cursor pointer to make it the cursor look like a pointer so this is the simple code i will also provide this code on my description section and you can uh, just click on that particular link and can download the entire code and change according to your column name there just you have to do that and how to actually uh, deploy the code here in my SharePoint list I'll just show you up go to your site collection you can uh, choose any of the your site sets library and then I'm just uh, choosing my style library there and this is my according.js code I will just drag it here and I'll just make it check-in to available for the entire population once it is checked in I know it is in, inside my style library and I'll go in my list click on edit page and in the list click your edit web part section and in the down there there is a miscellaneous section go to a JSLink section so the one thing is that we are working on a subsite level so that means we are working on the site collection level so for providing a link, link of site collection level just type a tilde sign there type site collection forward slash your library name where you have hosted your js link code and after that forward slash and put your js link file name according.js and just click on ok and go to page section click on stop editing and there you can see that this is by default showing hashtag 1 and hashtag 2 and when I click on that it's collapse my navigation like this so this is pretty simple that how you can achieve uh, things in your SharePoint list using JS link so this is the tutorial how you can create a code in you can add a new item from here and we'll see that if it is working for a new item also so I'll just create hashtag 3 